530, the trooper involved in a crash in Greene County is out of the hospital tonight. Good evening, I'm Katie Houston. And I'm Mark Allen. Trooper Paul Coates Cruiser and another car collided at US 35 and Shakertown Road in Beaver Creek just after 1 o'clock this morning. Jordan Burgess live with our top story at 530. Jordan. I talked to troopers and they tell me at this point they're still not sure why that driver turned in front of the trooper here on US 35, but you can see what the impact did to the Shakertown Road sign here and the trooper's car is even worse. And that's why troopers tell me they have an important message they want you to hear tonight before the next time you get behind the wheel. This crumpled up cruiser seems out of place next to the sleek new ones here at the Xenia Patrol Post, but it's a reminder of how even a routine day can be filled with danger. More law enforcement officers are killed by traffic crashes. 35 year old trooper Paul Coates was nearly added to that list early this morning when a car driven by 23 year old Daniel Hardin turned in front of him on US 35 at Shakertown Road. Coates was saved by his seatbelt and airbag. He does have some bruising and uh, some sore. Um, some sore injuries, but he is doing okay. Harden and his passenger, 27 year old John Harden, were taken to Miami Valley Hospital but are expected to recover. We asked what led to the crash and whether Trooper Coates had his emergency lights on, but troopers weren't ready to share details yet. So the crash is still under investigation. We still have witness statements and, and driver statements to still obtain. But troopers did have an important message they wanted to get across to drivers. And when we're standing, Outside of our vehicles, alongside the roadway, there's nothing there to protect us. That's where we have to rely on the citizens to, to do their part. It is Ohio law to move over for an emergency vehicle, but that doesn't always happen. Motors get distracted. They like to pay attention to the lights, you know, and then they'll do things such as an improper lane change. They won't pay attention to the vehicle that's in that left lane. Troopers understand it's not always possible to change lanes, but there's still something you can do. You know, if that lane is open, switch lanes if you can, but nothing else, have a courtesy and slow down. And I'm told the investigation will take about a week, and then we'll know whether any charges will stem from this crash. As far as Trooper Coates himself, we're told no word yet on when he'll return to work. He'll have to be cleared by a doctor first. Reporting live, Jordan Burgess, 2 News.